Hi, I'm Stephen Simmons, a second year international business major here at RIT. Hello, my name is Yusuf Ibrahim, and I'm a second year electrical engineering technology student at RIT. Today's date is October 21st, 2022. And we're here to talk a little bit about our experience here as color, students of color at a predominantly white institution. So my experience as a uh, person of color at a predominantly white institution, it's been overall a mostly positive experience at RIT. They have a lot of resources that let you talk about diversity and inclusion. They have a lot of clubs, whether that be student-led groups or just like organizations like National Society of Black Engineers, NSBE, Organization of African Students, OAS, and then there's Atlanta. There's a lot of different um, clubs and student-led groups. And those just give you a lot of information, a lot of resources, whether it be scholarship information, fun events, all sorts of types of stuff like that. And then um, just a lot of exposure. I've been exposed to many different groups of people, myself being here at RIT. I feel like it's very inclusive and it can be a great place. Yeah, I definitely have to agree with a lot of what you said. A lot of the Black and other like minority groups here at RIT are excellent. They're always doing events. They're always having something to do. You know, it's popping in like groups and even going to some of their office hours just to talk to people, learn a little bit about what's going on. And if you aren't a part of any of the like email chains or the letters, please sign up because just because you're not a person of color doesn't mean you can't come to some of these events and learn. Mm -hmm. um, overall, I do think that my experience here has been kind of positive, though I have run into a bit of trouble. There are some folks I know about the crack jokes that can hit a little close to home, but at the same time, I know that they don't mean it to heart. So I just, it's one of the things you have to deal with being at a predominantly white institution. Sometimes folks don't know their boundaries, but uh, yeah. All in all, I made some really great friends, both students of color and uh, students of the majority. Everybody here has been really cool. And I met people like Yusuf, who I never would have met if I wasn't for my majority friends. And then uh, one other thing I'd like to add on, um, I feel like there's a lot of diver diversity in the teachers. Oh, yeah. Sometimes um, people get this idea that this is mainly like uh, older professors, you know, but there's a great mix. I, I feel like there's from all over this uh, place, all over the world. And so you can get some good professors here as well okay. who can also talk to you about different, their experiences, race and all that. So don't be afraid to reach out. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's like, we've got young professors, older professors, professors who like weren't even born here. Mm -hmm. professors who were born here, but they're born from like immigrant families. There's a lot of diversity in the staff and the student populace. And I think that's really dope. Like, I feel like RIT in itself tries to actually stand up to what it means to have diversity. Whereas a lot of other schools will just promote it and put someone who looks like either of us on a magazine, on a or magazine, like, on a, a poster. postcard, and be like, yeah, diversity. We got one black guy. <laughs> like those old school movies. Old school movies. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Yeah, we appreciate you inviting us to share a little bit about ourselves. And I can't wait to see what other things are hold here in the archive. Uh, recording. Okay, guys, you'll see the email that I have.